What up, people? It's your boy, Master Trudy, out here with another comic review. So we finally got the finale of Super Sons of Tomorrow, ending on Super Sons number 12, Broken Future. As we can see, this cover is well done. We see their future of them dying, and the thing that pressurizes both Damien and John of whether their future will truly be this way or not. And I've got to say, it was a pretty nice issue of Super Sons, you know? Very nice issue. And everything goes the way I think I wanted to go in this issue, but let's see what we got here. So, we see in the aftermath of the last Superman issue, we just see that C. Timberlake said, I made a choice. The Superman inspired me. I absorbed Superboy Solar Flare and I became the savior I needed to be. The gift of life is all I can offer and all I can give at this moment. The here and the now, no more, no less. No promises of a better tomorrow or a different yesterday. Just life and all its wonders and horror, its joy and bitterness, and its complications. Raven tries to maintain a telepathic connection to all of us, but the link shreds quickly. Their minds only glimpse of what I see. Whoops. Oh, skip. You get a brilliant splash page. Kablam! Last minute saved. Peter J. Tomasi, Patrick Gleason on the writers, and Tyler Kirkham is the artist, which I think I've seen his work and I like. We just see the chaos of the future, the repercussions of the past, as I gladly fall through. He tells basically his fate, that he's going to continue to fight to protect anyone who endangers the chime line, but mine, but I, he suspects that more people are like him, but his is more in surgical in nature and more precise, and one from which I may never return. But we see all of these incidences, once again, I felt of the past, when Wally and Barry meet up in Rebirth, when Deathstroke gets the Speed Force, Flashpoint, we see Firestorm and Martian Manhunter, which we haven't seen in Rebirth. We see other things. We see the Dark Knights arrive. We see when Superman is a Yellow Lantern. We see Joker in the New 52 when he, had, when he was wearing a face. We see the Legion of Superheroes in the way, very distant future. We see the Crisis of Infinite Earths. We see the Ultramen, the evil versions of the Justice League. Very intriguing prospect. But of course he vanishes where? And then Superboy asks, what happened to Tim Drake? It's like, I don't know. We saw a version of our Tim sacrifice himself for us, basically. And he's like, so many images. What do they mean? Were those images from the past, the future? It's like there are plenty of questions that need to be answered, but we've never been properly introduced. It's like, so who are all of you? And why are you wearing an S? And Connor Kent is like, uh, um, basically, he's like, you don't know me yet. So we may see Connor, the Superboy that we knew, appear in Rebirth soon. But you once told me that when it comes to time travel and alternate realities, the less we say and do, the better. And Superboy is like saying, sounds like good advice. It was. Very, and we're very sorry for the, the loss of you. And then Damien's like, nah, Tim Drake's still alive. He's now everywhere, every when. And Superboy's like, are you going to stay? Yeah, Superboy's draw like, are you going to stay? Like, there's so much we can learn from you. And just see Cassie, it's like, that's exactly why we can't stay, Robin. Whatever's coming your way, you'll need to figure it out. So we see Cassie and Bart Allen, and we just see how we get back. It's like, residual reverse. It's like, use the speed force, you came in on like a, on like a time tee there, slingshot back, right? And you just see Bart's like, eh, not bad. Safe travel, Superman. And to you, Superman. <laughs> and so, Bart decides to do the whole thing, and... Beast Boy's like, wait, but they disappear and go back to their time. And we just see Beast Boy's like, the blonde, I think I knew her. I wish I got, I wish we gotten their names. So he's thinking about Cassie right now, Wonder Girl. It's like, I think, Superman's like, I think it's for the best. Damien's like, the best for whom? What's wrong with knowing what's coming? It means we can address it, see it around the corner before we get there. And we just see Kid Flash is like, I've got something better than their names. He's like, what's that? A selfie. Boom. And he thinks it's pretty cool, and everybody else thinks it's pretty cool, except for Raven. <laughs> it's like, pretty cool, a little souvenir, and she just blows up his phone, man. Do you want to compromise the timeline and more lives? And Flash's like, you, you, you know I could just download that from the cloud, right? <laughs> it's like, yeah, bro. But Raven's not having this, like, what just happened? There's nothing to be smiling or laughing about. 
for a sec. A version of our Tim Drake, someone close, someone we're close to, just sacrificed himself in front of us a minute ago, and you're snapping selfies with a big goofy grin on your face. Oh my gosh, dang. <laughs> Well, Raven ain't having that. And everybody's like, ew, the mood's been killed. <laughs> and, you know, Kid Flash apologizes, but Superman's like, okay, it seems like you guys have to clear some things to clear up. He's like, excuse me for a moment. Meanwhile, it would seem that Bruce Wayne, after being absent since, like, the first beginning of this arc, finally wakes up after, you know, getting shot. It's like, hmm, good morning. It's like, how long have I been out, Alfred? Out unconscious thanks to my running with the ultimate Tim Drake again. Must have been a dream, Master Bruce. A dream, hmm? And we can see that he got wrecked. <laughs> but that is he neither here nor there. Back in the fortress of solitude, Bruce Wayne is pondering. And David's like, why is he just, what's he doing? Why is he just standing there? It's like, I, he, I'm, John's like thinking, I guess, like, what about everything? About what? Everything's for taking cup. It's all wrapped up. And then... Clark is like, I'm not sure I agree with everything. I'm not sure if I agree with you that everything's wrapped up, Damien. And you just see, Super John is like, super hearing dummy. Remember, stupid powers. And I say, maybe I need to reassess this partnership of yours. And you see, Superman's like very serious. He's like, I, I don't know. Say, and then of course Damien takes off his mask. Like, I knew this was coming. Say, what was that young man? Speak up. Nothing, sir. Stop. Something stuck in my teeth. And Superman's like, you seem to be the catalyst of some far flung future. Maelstrom. So that ends up engulfing my son. Well, I'm sure you can understand my trepidation at allowing you boys to engage in any more crime fighting together. And you just see, I believe we're talking about a possible future, not one set in stone. And John is like, you always say, make our own fate, Dad. That we make our own choices. And you just see Superman and say, yes, but anything I can do. It's like, in the here and now, to make sure certain paths aren't taken, I have to consider I'm your father, and I refuse to believe that you'll destroy. And Damien's like, Look, John's possible future was already altered the minute Drake absorbed the solar flare from him. It's your possible future I'm worried about, Damien. It's like, whatever John did, he did to stop you. It could still mean he'd step over a line to try and save you. And that's not a chance I'm willing to take as his father. I have two jobs, to protect this world and to best... And to, to the best of my abilities, and to raise and protect my son. Now look at that man. Look at that man. Damn. And we just see Damien's like, I swear to you, sir, I will never put your son in harm's way. Oh. And so Damien's like, look, man, I am an honorable person, and I'm going to do what I need to do to, like, make sure that you can trust me. And we see John is like, just like you are here to protect me, I'm going to be there to protect Damien. Whatever world I have to in this possible future if it happens. Jesse, it's a two-way street, Mr. Kent. I'll be there to protect John. And Jesse, staying close to Damien, being a friend in good times and bad is the answer, not pushing him away. We only learn by making our own choices, Dad. Oh my God! Look at that writing. Boom! And you just see Superman's like, man, look at my son. It's like, how'd you get so smart? I guess by listening to you and Mom all the time. And Jesse Superman's like, oh, really, all the time? It's like, well, maybe most of the time. Just tossing around, tossing around all this sugar started to make me die to a diabetic. Oh, God, I love that. Meanwhile, back outside, Jesse, uh-oh, Titan's looking something serious. Something's going on. It's like, sit rep, Starfire. And Jesse, we need to call a meeting and talk about what happened. Savior fractured us easily, and it's important to air all our feelings so we do not put the team unity in jeopardy again. And Jesse Beast Boy saying, well, obviously a meeting at the tower is out of the question since it kind of got blowed up. <laughs> it's like, John is like, yeah, I'm sorry about that. I'll do whatever I can to rebuild it. And Jesse's like, yeah, no worries, man. You can use the, you can use the uh, watchtower as your temporary headquarters. Teleportation, boom, you hit the tower. Jesse, welcome to the Justice League headquarters. Our meeting table is yours. I'll be in the monitor room if you need me. And Jesse, all right, stop gawk standing around and gawking. They're called chairs, they're for sitting. And you just see Damien already enter into sitting in Batman's seat. You see Kid Flash going to Flash's seat. Aqualad going into Aquaman's seat. You just see Star Power making himself comfortable in Wonder Woman's. You see Raven is like, okay, cyborg, you know. She feels that brotherly connection to him. And then we just see Beast Boy is like, oh, come on, really? Really? <laughs> 
and you just see the Superman seat, and you just see Jonas. I guess I'll leave you all so you can have your meeting. And we just see Damien's like, meeting's called to order. I move we put Superboy up for a vote to be a half member of the Team Titans and later to be later be recognized as a full member once he turns to the age of 13. Do I hear a second? And you just see Damien. I have no doubt Jonathan would make an excellent Titan. Eh? You just see Damien's like, sorry, I overheard you. Is there anything I can do before you vote to help you convince you? It's like, not necessary. Just see. Okay, I'll let you go to your secret vote. You won't regret it. I'll make a great team titan. I'll be a, I'm a total team player. And we just see Batman just come in like, hmm, I want a complete report from you kids about the alternate Tim Drake and every detail about your account. And you just see, John's like, oh, hi, Batman. And you just see, just see, we're in the middle of a vote here. Could you, what are you voting on? Whether Superboy can join the team titans. And you just see, Superboy's like, maybe I should leave the room. Jesse, no need, go ahead, take the vote. A show of hands should do. Jesse, okay, who thinks Superboy should be a Teen Titan? And nobody raises their hands. And Damien's like, oh my god. <laughs> Look at that, happy, and then, oh. <laughs> Jesse, and the nays have it. Sorry, Superboy. Get me that report on my table. I'll be out. <laughs> Batman just kills him when he just leaves. Like, okay. And we just see Jonathan, this recent craziness just points out that we have a lot to figure out among ourselves. And Raven's like, I know you're disappointed, but this vote is not a reflection on you, Superboy. It's really more of a reflection on us and what we still need to work on as a team. So, you know, great writing. And Super Superboy, like a kid, is obviously disappointed. It's like, well, I'll let you guys get to it. See ya. And David's like, be right back. So he comforts his younger brother, saying that, look, sorry about the vote. It's like, that's okay. Thanks for having my back, Damien. It means a lot. Hey, that's what partners are for. We look out for each other. That's what friends are for, too, right? And we just see friends. And Jesse, you just had to ruin it, didn't you? He's like, sorry. And Jesse, Damien said, don't be. And then we march forward in the pages of Superman, Super Sons, and Teen Titans. Oh my gosh, this was a fantastic issue of Super Sons. We see that the consequences of what has happened in this arc... Superboy is now kind of, the Teen Titans are a little bit fractured about the unity because everybody took different sides. We see that Superboy is still eyeing, probably has an eye of like skepticism, like they don't know what could happen. And he's disappointed, but Damien and John's friendship remains thick and thin and they're bros, man. They're bros. So once again, thank you all for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notifications. Make sure you're notified. Once again, I do these comic reviews for you, the people, because I want to get these good comics out here, review them, and get your stances on them and whatnot. Thank you all for watching. I should have more videos up later today.